Strictly Boardroom Tango is the most fun, Lucy clapped her hands, in the way that confident experts do, as she turned on the music before returning to the middle of the floor. That's what I'm afraid of, Robert replied with a wry smile. She summoned him to her, and they moved off in unison, crossing the sprung wooden floor of the studio. Normally, the man leads, so once you have learned this dance, it will come naturally. Stepping together while she encouraged him to loosen up. Robert was just over six feet tall, with an athletic build for a man in his mid-fifties. He spent time every morning before work exercising, and this new session replaced sword fencing that he'd been doing each Thursday morning at six o'clock for the past year. Why does he want to learn to dance? Jan asked Lucy as they took breakfast in a cafe next to Bethnal Green Tube Station a few hours later. I suspect he wants to try something new. I didn't get much detail from his man about it though. He has a man? Feigning shock. These tycoons never organize anything themselves. I only have Victor's number, not Robert's. It's very arm's length. <laughs> I like it arm's length for taking dance lessons, biting her croissant and chuckling to herself. Jan and Lucy had both been to dance school together. Even though Jan had done some successful West End shows, her work had dried up of late, so she wanted to know more about teaching. I heard about another CEO who took up piano lessons just to get told off for making a mistake because he was surrounded by yes people all day. Some of these high flyers have gone through life being good at everything, so they want to hit a wall and see if they can get up again. Sipping her coffee and showing Jan a picture of Robert in a suit from the website of RHA Insurance. God, he looks commanding, gasped Jan. Yes, he's very handsome and cultured. He also looks like someone you wouldn't want to cross too, Jan said. There might be something in the psychology of continually needing to improve themselves with guys like this. Hmm. Well, my brother is a trader in a bank, so all that banking and insurance stuff is much the same. He says it's dog eat dog, in spite of them all putting up pride rainbows and talking about diversity and inclusion, whatever that means. Jan laughed and pointed back to the picture of Robert. Look him up on Wikipedia. Is he married? Oh, stop it. But Lucy was typing nonetheless. Hmm. No, he isn't. Says he was divorced 10 years ago and no mention of a current partner. He'll be married to his job, no doubt. Like my brother. Works a 60 hour week and is too tired to do anything at the weekend. He's not a total bore, but it's more money than he can spend. And even if he did spend it, he wouldn't have the time or energy to do so. It's a shame about last week. Everything okay? Lucy asked Robert. Yes, indeed. Uh, couldn't be helped, I'm afraid. Emergency board meeting. Oh, I see. Well, let's try out see if you've been practicing your tango, shall we? Robert looked distracted, tried to speak stopped himself and, and then resumed. They tried a vote of no confidence in me. Can you believe that? I can't imagine anyone not having confidence in you. She blushed, realizing it might have been too much. He stepped up, ready to assume his tango position as lead. You're very kind. She raised her hand in refusal. First, we're going to try some warm-ups. We need to loosen up a bit before we dance, okay? Fine with me, stepping back, awkwardly from what he thought was a masterful step of confidence. We're going to try 
shaking our limbs and then ending it with some laughter. She said, Laughter? For real? For real, Robert. You know, it wouldn't kill you to try a bit of laughter. You're so tense. Laughter is just one S away from slaughter. She had to think about that for a second. <laughs> and then she started laughing heartily. That's a good one. Very dark, but good. He smirked. And off they moved. This is great. You have been practicing, she exclaimed. I'm not one to make myself look bad in front of my teacher, you know. I'll bet you've been impressing people all your whole life, looking at him. Doesn't that get a bit exhausting? I have a lot of energy. For some people, it might be more than they can handle, he said. It happened to all my contemporaries, taking a breath before turning to move back the other direction. Some burned out, one died of a heart attack, others took the money and retired early. And you? You'll keep going? I have to. Why is that? I've got so much more to achieve. I mean, do, he said, correcting himself. I will assume you survived the conference vote, she asked, trying not to pry. His shoulders instantly stiffened and she tapped him to get him to relax. Yes, but not without concessions having to be made. Ah, uh, they wanted to install a new chair to the board, and it's an old enemy of mine I thought I'd never see again. A bit of a crappy situation, but I won't let that get me down. Hansen will be out within a year if I have anything to do with it. And relax those shoulders again, Robert. As they moved on and the song ended, bringing their lesson to a close. In spite of all his layers of career and achievement, Lucy couldn't help falling for him. He pretty much had it all, except the ability to reciprocate. In her heart, she knew that he could never love anyone in return. It was all about his charm and status. And that was all that was left to him after he had sold his soul.